Hey guys, uh, welcome to your first food prep session. Uh, so by now um, you should have um, uh, your shopping sorted or at least um, got it organised to get it picked up or delivered this week. Um, so for me, this is this is the this is the best bit of the program. I, I love cooking. Uh, I love eating, but I just love cooking just as much. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through the very basics of food prep. So this is my sort of food prep when I've not really been that prepared. So it's sort of like the very, very basics and it's very simple to do. It's very quick, but if you're organized with this, um, you should be able to get the majority of your weekly food cooking and food prep done in two sittings. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a very basic uh, chicken dish, we're going to be doing a very, very basic rice dish and uh, a very basic uh, vegetable dish. Um, so if you can get the basics done properly and correctly it shouldn't be boring food. You know if chicken's overcooked you're gonna it's gonna be dry it's gonna be like eating cotton if it's undercooked you're gonna get salmonella and you're gonna be sick so it is really important that we get these right and if we get the simple things done correctly they're gonna be beautiful and tasty right so you're gonna need a couple of things these should all have been on your shopping list so we're gonna need um, some chicken breasts I'm gonna pre prepare some stuff so I'm gonna show you how to store them properly in the fridge so you don't need to be doing this every day so I'm gonna do maybe um, breakfast and lunch for two or three days uh, depending on how hungry me and Aaron are going to be over the next couple of days um, we're going to need some very basic um, microwave rice okay and again this is because we're, we're being lazy with this food prep we're going to need some pre-cut vegetables if you want to save a little bit of money on your food prep you can um, pre-cut these vegetables and put them into a big Tupperware container just out of um, laziness and um, you can get these done quickly as I use these pre-cut ones uh, and then we're going to need the <coughs> so tender maggi packets okay these are pre-seasoned grease proof paper and we're going to cook these in the George Foreman if you haven't been able to find these all you need to do is you can use uh, regular grease proof paper you can cut them into strips like so and then you can pre-season these with some fajita seasoning, some smoked paprika, garlic, chili, whatever you fancy. Um, but the really important thing we're going to do with these is we're going to tenderise the chicken and cook them properly on the George Foreman and that's what we're going to do next. Right, okay, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to tenderise the chicken. The reason why we tenderise the chicken is two reasons. Uh, one, it's going to cook quicker, so it's going to save us time, and two, it's going to make the chicken tender and juicy and it's not going to dry out and it's going to last a lot longer in the fridge because generally when we cook chicken if we leave it in the fridge overnight the moisture comes out of it and it's a bit dry and a bit horrible uh, so by tenderizing it uh, we're going to avoid that so what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our chicken breasts and we're going to put it inside the maggie pack okay and then what you're going to do is you're just going to give it a good old bashing okay so there's no right or wrong way of doing this And you want to avoid doing this in uh, at six o'clock in the morning because you'll get in trouble from your next door neighbours. Right, okay, so you can see how the chicken breast is now a lot flatter. I hope you can see that as I'm in shot. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this to one side and I'm just going to go through the rest of those chicken breasts. Okay. Right now, I've got all my uh, I've got all my ch chicken tenderized now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm only going to use two of the chicken breasts. So I'm just going to prepare um, my lunch and Erin's lunch today. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this um, this tenderized chicken in the fridge. Now the reason why I do this is, um, as you'll find out in a minute, these um, chicken breasts are only going to take about four or five minutes to cook so I do have the time in the morning just to chuck my chicken breasts off they're, uh, they're going to taste a lot better um, when they're cooked from fresh I mean they, when, once cooked they will last four or five days in the fridge and they're not going to dry out too much but they will lose a little bit of moisture after they're cooked so I like to cook them in the morning but it's it's so simple it's just like making a piece of toast they come out of the fridge straight on the George Foreman so Preheat your George Foreman, so mine's nice and hot, it's been on for a couple of minutes, and you put the chicken breasts 
on in the packs with the folded bit facing down so you don't lose any of those lovely chicken juices. Okay, when you're um, inputting your chicken breasts and your Maggie packs into my fitness pal, it's accounting for you eating all those wonderful tasty fats. So don't let the George Foreman take them away from you. Make sure that they uh, stay in there. Right, okay, so now that's on, that's going to take about four or five minutes. Uh, that does depend on the chicken breast. Obviously, the more you tenderize it and the thinner it is, the quicker it's going to cook. I'm going to show you a little tip in a minute to find out how, uh, how the chicken breast is cooked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on and we're going to cook uh, the rice. Now, I use these um, microwave packs uh, just because rice can take 40 to 45 minutes to cook. Uh, there's a bit of preparation involved. It's something I'm going to teach you a little bit later on is how to do um, rice properly because it's something that a lot of people do get wrong, believe it or not. Uh, but for today, we're just going to use the quick and simple rice. Now, um, Uncle Ben's do a great range of rices with loads of flavouring in and seasoning. You can get Mexican rice, you can get Brazilian samba rice. The reason why I use these ones, the Thai, uh, the just regular Thai jasmine rice, is because uh, these are about 45p, whereas the Uncle Ben's are about a pound, and I go through quite a lot of these. So what I do is I cook these, and then I season them myself with my own flavorings. Um, so what we're gonna do, I've got 25 ml of water, which is about a quarter of a, of a builder's mug of hot water in the pan, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chuck these in, Of a mix up and then a lot of my food I cook with a bit of a, a bit of a chili kick but you can use anything from smoked paprika a little bit of barbecue seasoning if you want to keep it simple just some salt and pepper so I use chili powder pepper with a little bit of salt you just need a pinch of each Right, I'm going to give that a mix up and that's going to be left for about three minutes. Obviously you can use these in the microwave and add your seasoning after. I just find um, cooking them in the water makes that Thai jasmine rice a little bit sticky and it gives it a little bit more texture, it's very nice. Right, while that's all on I'm going to pack up and then we're going to go through how to package your food and prep it up nicely, alright? <coughs> right, okay. Um, Chicken's done, rice is done, now it's time just to uh, pack and prep it. Uh, a really good tip, uh, so the, the chicken's actually taken about five and a half minutes to cook just because they're a little bit thicker than I'd usually do. So it's just sort of trial and error, but uh, you really don't want to overcook your chicken. Um, it's just going to become dry and horrible, it's not, not good. So a really good tip of uh, testing when it's done is if you keep it in the packet on the George Foreman, if you squash it down, it, it should feel like tender and not soft. As soon as it starts feeling tender, just open it up and then just cut into it and you should see in the middle, the chicken should still be wet, uh, but the out outside should still be juicy. Um, it's gonna make Nando's chicken boring. Nando's is never gonna be the same again. Same again. If you get this chicken right, you won't want to eat anyone else's chicken, I promise you that. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm preparing uh, my lunches and one of Erin's lunches today. Now, obviously, my calories are a lot higher than Erin's, um, and my carbohydrates are a lot higher, my protein's a bit higher, so obviously my lunch is going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I try and sp split my lunch uh, into two, depending on my day, um, but th again, that's just me, so it depends on um, what we've set you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this chicken into strips, just so when I'm on the go, it's just going to be a little bit easier to eat. I quite like eating with my hands, bad habit, but whatever. Um, what we're going to do is just split that over into three. If you you should have already read your nutrition pack now, and you should know how to input your own recipes into into my fitness pal. Now it's really important that you put these recipes that I'm giving you into my fitness pal because it's going to make tracking and logging your food a lot easier. So I know working by eye 
that each one of my, because what, what we're creating here really is uh, your own ready meals. We're creating healthy ready meals. I know because I put in this recipe into my fitness pal a hundred times that uh, these boxes, one's filled with a quarter carbohydrates, a quarter veg, which is already done, and a quarter protein is around 600 calories. Now, depending on the size of your chicken breast, uh, how much rice you cook, what veg you're using, it's, it's all gonna be different. You can have a little bit of a play around with these. Like, you don't need to use that exact mix of vegetables. You can use various different ones, like they do some pepper ones, uh, mixed bean salad ones. So have a little bit of a play around with them, but make sure you put them into My Fitness Pal. And, you know, soon you'll be able to sort of, all, I can do all this by eye, but make sure that you're measuring um, the uh, carbohydrate, the, protein content going in, how many carbohydrates. You know, if you work off a rule of thumb of one chicken breast is around 30 to 25 grams of protein. So in total weight, there's gonna be about 125 grams in weight. And out of that 125 grams is gonna be around 25 grams of protein. So I can sort of do it by, but it is worth uh, measuring everything out at the start until you get used to it. Right, okay, so I'm gonna fill in. A little bit of uh, carbohydrates. And then I'm gonna fill that. All I need to do now, this, this vegetable, these vegetables are already, um, are already pre-prepared. So they don't even need washing. Uh, I like to eat mine crunchy and raw, but you can put these in the microwave just to reheat up. You can even add a little bit of balsamic vinegar or salt and pepper if you like. I try and keep my uh, keep my calories saved for sauces rather than seasoning like that. So there we go. I've got three really tasty really healthy and certainly not boring ready meals so these are going to go in the fridge it's still at quite early so i'm going to be uh, i'm going to be actually making the breakfast that i'm going to show you next week uh, for this morning and then pre-prepared these so whenever i want to uh, get these now so I've got these prepared for the next three days in the fridge so I just take them out chuck them on the George Foreman I'd usually take one of these um, microwave rices to work I can prepare my lunch while I'm making my coffee in the morning for breakfast it's it literally is that simple right Okay, so like I said, next week we've got uh, breakfast coming up, so get practicing these. Like I said in the previous video, it's really important that you do practice these recipes. The, the more you practice them, the more efficient you're going to be. The quicker they're going to be, you're going to be able to snap them out. I mean, this has taken me all of 15 minutes, and that's messing around with the video as well at the same time, so it really does, uh, it doesn't take long at all. Right, I hope you enjoy it. See you all next week.